Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Critical Chit Chat. Uh, this week, we're back to our normal show. Um, we've got lots of big news stories at the top. Then we're going to talk about our Pokemon of the week. Which is a um, Pokemon that's behind us. Maybe. Maybe. Um, and then at the end, we're going to speculate. I'm loving what... the NPR voice right now, Tommy. Thanks. I'm just <laughs> really in the mood. Yeah. For some quiet time. <laughs> um, and at the end of the show, we're actually going to talk about what we are expecting to see from the uh, up cor- upcoming Coro Coro leaks I see later. Coro Coro Wing. Up Coro Coro Wing leaks, <laughs> um, which are going to be coming out this week. Should probably be coming out this week. Pretty soon. I'm pretty sure they're scheduled for this week. Yeah. So next week, we'll likely be talking about what actually is the secret of the starter's evolution and Rockruff. Right. But today we're going to be speculating. Right. Um, next week we'll be talking about that in our uh, news segment, which is happening right now and this week. We, we got a new stuff. trailer. Oh, we're starting off with a new trailer from, uh, this is coming out of PAX, PAX East? PAX West. West. PAX West. You know, I always say West Coast, Best Coast. That's, yeah. I made that up. Yeah, you did. All right. First thing in the trailer. Boom. Alonlin Ratatata. Yes, he's got a uh, evil man's mustache. Yeah. Um, because he's a dark normal now. He's dark type as well now, um, which makes him just even more useless <laughs> in game. Uh, does it make it more, him more useless? Yeah, because he's fighting. I guess. His only weakness is now his four times weakness. You better hope there's not an early in-game fighting type gym leader. Well, I don't think you'll... You probably won't find Rattata's early. Because early you find uh, the Young Goose. Okay. And the reason why Dark Rattata exists is because they were... They were run out of the area by the Young Goose. Hmm. So Rattata would probably be a later game. Assuming that what we saw in that demo that you're talking about was the beginning of the game. It is. We'll see. <laughs> Along with Picky Peck. <laughs> And a bunch of others. And Ladybug. And Ladybug. Everybody's favorite new Alolan Pokemon. <laughs> the first one we saw in the dome. <laughs> um, so yeah, Rattata, Dark Normal. Uh, no new abilities here. Um, He's got a mustache. At, at what point... I mean, it's cool that they're trying to enhance some old, stale Pokemon. Mm-hmm. At what point is it too much? This This point. This one? Right before this one was too much. The Meowth was too much? Well, no, no. I say this one's too much. One. Okay. Yeah. I'd say I was even excited for Sandshrew, Sandslash, and Vulpix, Ninetales to be the only ones. Plus Executor. Was that the same and time Executor, as yeah. And Executor to be the only ones. The only ones? Yeah. Hmm. I, I think they... they should have picked a select few or just done all the first gen have different forms the entire first gen why not we're halfway there well <laughs> that was loud into the <laughs> mic <laughs> um yeah i mean rattata just is too similar to what they did to meowth it's like literally the exact same thing they did to Meowth. yeah and they're not changing the designs very much um i mean Part of me says it's unnecessary, but part of me is like, well, it's either that or we just have regular Rattatas yeah. in the game anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's too much now with the Rattata just because I'm not that stoked on Rattata, probably. Like, who mm. was clamoring for a Rattata redesign? I love Rattata. Besides Joey. Youngster Joey. Yeah, <laughs> by that I meant Youngster Joey. <laughs> Oh, man, Youngster Joey's going to be so hard to beat now. I know, Perfect IV, Dark Rattata. Yeah, it's going to have Crunch. And Bite is going to have Stab. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> um, all right, next up in the trailer, they tell us that to be distributed um, alongside the release of the game... For early purchasers only, mm-hmm. will be a special Munchlax. Now, what is special about this Munchlax? When you throw it into battle, some confetti falls on it. Wow. Isn't it also a special uh, something else? No. That's literally all it is. 
but when it evolves. So now the reason they are doing this is because of the uh, second half of the trailer here, um, which shows us Snorlax. Snorlax. So they say, um, I'm pretty sure you can only get the move with this one. With the no, Snorlax. because they they say um, evolve Munchlax and give it a Snorlium Z. Snorlium Z, which is also a word that we learned. Snorlium Z. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna end with em instead of it, I- and then a Z also. And Z, yeah. Um, they said yeah, evolve it and give it this Snorlium Z to unleash its own personal Z move, mm-hmm. which is pulverizing pancake. And it is so crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> this Snorlax is like, ready? Yeah. Okay, use the Z move. Uh, using it, go. Ah. And then he gets up. He gets up. Runs. It's just fucking darting. <laughs> jumps. And then you see a... Then you see the other Pokemon standing there, and it's a Gumshoes. And I wanted at this point in the trailer to Gumshoes for just him to look up and go, "Oh shit!" Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh shit! <laughs> and then uh, Snorlax like lands on him, and there's like a explosion of nuclear proportions. Nuclear proportions. And uh, Gumshoes dies in one hit. <laughs> dies. Um. It's pretty crazy. It's a cool move. It's probably like a little ridiculous, but I mean, Snorlax. I mean, for Z moves are going to be cool for Pokemon that like Omega Evolution wouldn't have been cool for them. Mm-hmm. But their own special like super move is going to be good for them. Like Snorlax is the best example for that I can think of. Yeah, or imagine like. I don't know, Mega Snorlax could have been cool. No. What if he was like... That would have been too much. What if he like got up and he's like Sumo Snorlax? That would have been stupid. That would have probably been what it was, though. Stupid. <laughs> um, what if Snorlax, uh, his Mega Evolution, his ability was Stance Change? I don't know if we have a lot of time for what ifs today. I think we do. There's so much news to get into, Josh. There's a lot of news to get into, and what if any Pokemon? What if any Pokemon's ability was stance change? That would be crazy. Think about Snorlax like sleep mode and then attack mode. Too crazy, right? He's too slow to have that ability. I don't know. Um, It would be too overpowered. (laughs) Now, um, Snorlax isn't the only Pokemon that gets his own Z move. Uh, In the trailer, Raichu also gets his own Z move, and it's called. Stoked Spark Surfer. Same. Stoked Spark Surfer. Right, choose a surfer, bro. Clearly. Um, that's the direction they're going with it. Well, yeah, I mean, his, his ability is Surge Surfer. So he's just, like, surfing all over the place it, with all these moves and abilities. So I think why not? I mean, it was foretold in the prophecy that is. Pokemon Stadium. Oh, when Raichu could learn surf? And surfed on his own tail. Right. Yeah. So. It all comes full circle. I'm not too uh, stoked about Raichu. I like Raichu. I don't like it. I do gotta say, I like his original design much better. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I don't know. I think it's cool. Uh, I'm excited to see um, a lot of Raichu. Raichu just won Worlds. Yeah. We all know. Everyone's hyped on Raichu right now, man. <sighs> Too hype. Raichu sucks. He's okay. Damn. Uh, anything else from the trailer uh, for you, Josh? Yeah, I think that's it. I think Snorlax is uh, he, he, he's going to be a big guy next in the next year. Snorlax means we're breaking the internet. Um, suddenly all the Pokemon memers forgot about Exeggutor. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Pokemon companies, <laughs> Pokemon companies going viral with this game. Yeah, I mean, it's a big year for Pokemon. Gotta say, big year, and they're about to make it bigger with the release, alongside of Pokemon Sun and Moon, of a game soundtrack. Can't wait for this featuring 
175 tracks inspired by music from the Hawaiian Islands. As well as, like, a booklet with, uh, I think they said, like, 25 pictures or something, or 25 pages or something. All for $10 minus one cent. $9.99 on iTunes. Um, In Japan, they're actually going to get a physical version that comes with the booklet. I don't know uh, if that's, uh, like, available here. Yeah, probably have to import it. But I love uh, game soundtracks. I love listening to game soundtracks. I'm very excited for this. I was just listening to the X and Y soundtrack the other day. So I'm very excited for this to come out, and I'm going to be playing it in my car. But do you like Hawaiian music? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Some ukuleles. No, but do you think this is a good idea? I mean... I think it's good. this is a good idea, and this is the first time I believe they've actually done this. Yeah. Because you can't find any of the other Pokemon soundtracks on, like, iTunes. No. So this will be the first one, so that's really cool, and I'm really excited about that. I think all games should release the soundtracks, just because I love listening to them. I'll pay for them. I'll buy them. And... Yeah, but 99% of people who play the game don't care about the soundtrack. Yeah, but that's dumb. They should if they they would know if the soundtrack was missing yeah they would notice but they don't appreciate it while it's there yeah well then we should have release a game with no soundtrack so that people get it okay well maybe people will get this one i hope so uh don't we all so the career <laughs> what <laughs> don't we all hope so no it was kind of more like pause don't we all Mm-hmm. another pause so <laughs> so you know how uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire had a like a little demo where you could get a Mega Steelix or a Mega Glalie right and I think that's the only way you can get the Mega Stones mm-hmm. Pokemon Sun and Moon are going to have a demo version and we know this because the Korean rating board released their rating for a demo version of Sun and Moon very excited for this. We get to get our hands on the game a little bit early, play the game, and possibly get some exclusive Z moves. Probably, I would say. Although, the demo for Ruby and Sapphire was very boring. Man, who cares? <laughs> exclusive Z moves. You get to play the game a little bit early, get a feel for it. I mean, I already have the games pre ordered. We all already know that we're going to get the game. The yeah. demo is not for us to see if we want to buy it, but it is going to be fun to be able to get those a little early. But it is for some people to see if they want to buy it. Yeah, definitely. It's to sell more. Yeah. I mean, that is generally the purpose of a demo. Usually. Maybe their 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 plan here is obviously release the demo, get people talking about the game, telling their friends how fun it is, mm-hmm. and then the friends buy it. Yeah, this is exciting. I'm thinking, I mean, we should probably be getting this demo pretty soon, in the next month or so. No, probably in October. Yeah, next month or so. (laughs) What do you say about the next month or so? Well, the next month is September. The next month is September 6th through October 6th. Sure. So, like, sometime early October, maybe. Sometime, uh, maybe <laughs> next month. Let's say, uh... Not the next no- month. Maybe, like, the next month or so. Probably October. Okay, next month or so. Mm. I'm glad we agreed. These are different things. <laughs> I'm glad we agreed, Tony. Next month we'll or so. We'll never agree, Josh. Next month or so, you'll be getting this new uh, Pokemon demo. Hopefully before November. Hopefully before November 18th. <laughs> yeah. Tommy brings us into the final news topic. I thought that was the big one that like you wanted to talk about a lot. I don't think we really need to talk. Why you think that we should spend a lot of time on that one? I thought you thought that. <laughs> bring it to the next topic, Tommy. <laughs> All right. So you know those guys who are like data miners. Oh yeah, I do know those guys. Yeah, and gals. Yeah, probably. I mean, we don't know who they are. They're faceless internet people. Yeah, anonymous. Um, well, I they, assume they do all the hacking in the world. They hacked this Pokemon Go. Yes. 
and found this. Yeah, so they were mining some data in mm-hmm. Pokemon Go. Yeah. Looking for clues, looking for uh, things. Secrets. Looking for those uh, special EV nicknames to get an Espeon or an Umbreon. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this is what they accidentally found. Buddy system. Buddy system. What is this? So this is when you go to the bathroom <laughs> and you don't want to get lost or stolen. In the bathroom? Or stolen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so buddy system is going to allow trainers of Pokemon Go to select a Pokemon to be their buddy. Um, now what this is going to do is put that Pokemon on their trainer profile screen to scale. You're going to see how small, how big your Pokemon are next to your real life trainer self who you can't select a height for yeah but they're so human you, height yeah you know how they say extra small extra large regular you're gonna see the difference you can see so if you have like one extra small rattata and one extra large rattata you can see but what they mean by that sure um also for walking around with your buddy um you're gonna collect various candy now what does that mean we don't know it means you're gonna want to walk around more well do you get a candy for every kilometer you walk right as is far as like same, how many is it the same species candy as I'm who sure you're walking with i'm sure it is i mean that seems like an obvious answer but the pokemon go app developers have let us down many a time already i can't remember a time okay. The three-step glitch. Dude, it's a glitch. They're doing the best we can. They're like three people over there working on this game. The servers being down for the <laughs> first three <laughs> days. There's like, a, there's like, it's a small team, guys. They've let us down. This is not a, some, like, it's not a, a thousand people in a room saying, hey, I'm part of the uh, server Look, committee on Pokemon Go. I'm just saying, the buddy system might not be the most perfect System in the world. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's a cool idea, and that's all we can go off of at this point. It's not out yet. I'm sure appraising your Pokemon sounded like a cool idea if we had known about that a couple weeks ahead of time. But who uses that? Not a person. Yeah, I'm not sure actually even why a person needs to know the stats of their Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Exactly. (laughs) But a lot of people seem really concerned with it. Overly so. So why do people need to know the exact size of their Pokemon in Pokemon Go? That I don't care about either. Well, then you don't care about this system. I care about getting candies by walking around. Uh, Hopefully the candies will be the same species as They have to be. It makes no sense. Then what's the point of picking, like, a certain one? Just to be your buddy. That's what people see when they click on your profile. Okay. They, They know, like, oh, that must be his favorite Pokemon. Do do you can you click on people's profiles? Yeah. What? Yeah. You've done this. No. Don't think you can do it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we'll see how that turns out. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Let us know what you think of that and all the other news for this week. Yeah. By well, the way, if you want to see um, a video of another host on this uh, page, but not on this show, Joey reacting to the latest pokemon trailer go over to at fangeared on twitter and you can watch that video of him reacting to the snorlax z move it's funny it's it is funny (laughs) he's drinking a martini it's very classy (laughs) all right uh while you guys are clicking over to that we're gonna dive into our next segment here on the show which is called come back when we're done with this segment after you're done watching that and then you can join us for the final we're diving into the next segment this is what it's called it's a revolving door of pokemon that's right. Crit. That's what it's called. To go chit chat. No. What? <laughs> nope. That was the revolving door of Pokemon. Um, it's time for this week's revolving door. And, and guess where who is it, it is. stopping? Where's the door gonna stop? Victini. The victory Pokemon. Okay. Do I look like it? Nope. <sighs> Damn it. Um, I was about to V create. Josh, stop. It's a good move. You're impossible. All right. Bring us in, Tommy. What right. do we, what right, do we right, got, Tommy? Right, right. Victini. All right. Victini, Psychic Fire. Um, all of his stats are base 100. 
boring. Boring. As far as I am concerned. Well, I don't know. I like Victini. Victini is maybe one of my favorite mythicals, actually. Okay, well, uh, let's see what his Pokedex says, and then I'll ask you why. Okay. Because his Pokedex is pretty crazy. It's got two entries across all the games. It just reads the same two. One of them says, This Pokemon brings victory. It is said that trainers with Victini always win, regardless of the type they encounter. Damn. That's straight up not true. Now, I have to say, I have played with Victini on random doubles. That's not true. <laughs> Put it up against a water type. Yeah, you will lose. Or a dark type. You will lose. Yeah. Um, his other thing says, when it shares the infinite energy it creates, that being's entire body, that being's entire body will be overflowing with power. Sounds dangerous. Who's it sharing its energy with? And how how does it create infinite energy? Well, Tommy, let me tell you. We, we need to harness Victinis. We, yeah. You know what? That's what we need to be doing. Uh, the c- clean, renewable energy source source that is <laughs> Victini. We need to track it down. Use all the government funding we need to track down a Victini. Hunt it down. Hunt it down. Shoot him dead. And sh- No, don't shoot oh. it dead because we need its energy. But, you know, we got we to harness it. But, I don't know. It's it's going to uh, well, Josh. This bit went on for a very long time. It's going to cut. Uh, we need to going to need to rely on some inhumane practices. The ethical treatment of Pokemon. Right, that's a whole different issue, but it could start with Victinis. Yeah. Pet pet p. What? P- like Peta. Peta. What does that stand for? People. Something the ethical treatment of people for the ethical treatment of animals, people for the ethical treatment of Pokemon. Pet P. Pet P. Okay, um, so you were saying V create a lot. You're making some jokes. That's Victini's move. Victini has two signature moves. One of them being V create. V create, which uh suck. Damn. Physical fire attack, base power 180. Uh, it's going to lower your defense, special defense, and speed by one after using it. I mean, something's got to give somewhere. It seems a bit suicidal. Seems a bit suicidal. Lowers your defense, special defense, and speed. You just switch out. Yeah, you can. Cause, uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure Victini isn't even an uber... Pokemon, despite being mythical. Really? Yeah. Um, Anyway, its other attack that is its own is Searing Shot, which is... Siri? Siri? You said Searing Shot, and Siri's like, what? You're talking to me? Is that actually what happened? No. (laughs) Um, Just a special fire attack, base 100, 30% chance to burn. It's like a... um, you know, it's like a better flamethrower mm-hmm. by a little bit, mm-hmm. by 20 base powers, I would say. Sure. Nothing special. I mean, Victini, yeah, it's unique. It's mythical. The I remember when Black and White first came out, you had to like get the game early, and then you got a special ticket, and you had to take the ticket to that one big city in Black and White. Mm-hmm. And like take it to a dock, and then take a ship to the island to get Victini. <laughs> uh-huh. So that was cool. I mean, it was it was like a more creative event style. Yeah. Um, now you can just get it with any event, including the one this month. Yeah. You can pick up a Victini in your game via Mystery Gift on Oros and X and Y. X and Y. So do that during the month of September. Not going to want to miss out on this 20th anniversary distribution event. So, um... What do you think of Victini's design? That's what I like about it. I think it's so dumb. I mean, it's cute, but, like, its ears and head are supposed to be a V. Yeah, uh, I can tell. Why? Why? That's like making your legendary Pokemon an X or a Y. It's a V, though. Which I have a, um, 
a, a somewhat of a connection with. To the letter V. Yeah. My last name starts with a V. That's somewhat of a connection. Exactly what I said. <laughs> um, <laughs> look. What? Is there anything else you want to say about Victini, the victory Pokemon? You know, I gotta say, when you're with Victini, you're with the very best, and when you're you're gonna win, you're gonna have a victory. That's it. When you win, you're gonna have a victory. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so that's it for our revolving door of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Josh, let's get into our topic um, of. The week. The show. The show, which is weekly. <laughs> it's true. Um, what is it? We are going to be wildly speculating as to what this mystery of the starter Pokemon in Sun and Moon, and as well as Rockruff, apparently, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and their evolutions. What is the mystery behind behind the evolutions? Of the starter Pokemon, as well as Rockruff. <laughs> and their evolutions. And the evolutions. And their evolutions. Well, exclusively their evolutions. Right. There's a lot I, of... I uh, gotta say, I don't know. There's I don't know either, and you know, none of us do. Except for the Pokemon company themselves, and probably Korokoro at this point. Yeah, so Korokoro Koro Koro has promised that they will let us know what this secret is. Um, while also revealing Rockruff's evolution. Yeah. Which is um, pretty much almost guaranteed to be a werewolf based right. on all the leaks we have. Yeah, and no more fucking around from these Koro Koro guys. No more jokes. No more gags. What was the gag? When they said, like, oh, we have new information about Sun and Moon, and then they, like... Their pictures were like of them like dropping the news and like you couldn't actually see it. And the picture they took had like a huge glare on it, so you couldn't actually see what it was. This was a f- few months ago. That's not funny. They released that was the issue. Like that. Oh, we accidentally t- did shitty job and didn't release any information. But if they were dropping the news, that's like the good thing. That's like they're giving it to like us. physically they dropped it. That's that's some wordplay. <laughs> um, well, here's a thing I've heard: a new type question mark called various, right? Um, which may have to do with if you evolve them at daytime versus if you evolve them at nighttime. But I mean, that's kind of like the EV Espeon Umbreon thing. If you evolve them in the ocean, if you evolve them in a lava. Well, each of the four you, islands seem to have a unique energy about them. If you evolve them in a Surge Surfer. Josh, I feel like I'm saying real things and you're just making jokes over here. I'm just saying that's how the type can be determined. Is that what happened to Raichu? He evolved in. Raichu a- fell into a Surge Surfer. And that's why he's psychic type. And now that's how I turned into psychic type. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, but no, maybe it, if I am going to go, if I were a betting man, what I would put my money on. You are. What I would put my money on. <laughs> okay. Is the day versus night thing. Because in Rowlet's description on Pokemon.com, it, it has something well, about. is an owl. Yeah, but it it says something about it getting special power from night. Okay. Okay. Um, the oh, games are called Sun and Moon. That's true. That's I would say is the best indicator of the su- of the day and night thing. That what? the games are Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, the number one. Um, Rockruffs. Or maybe they're different based on your, the version you have. I don't like that. I that don't would like be that strange. At all. Yeah. Um. Maybe one of Rockruff's evolution is a werewolf, but the other, the daytime one, is a regular wolf. I just figured it out. Okay. Your Pokemon take on different forms, Based whether on it's the time day or day. night, but it's both. That's That has to be it. If it's a werewolf, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but what, is it going to be like a human during the daytime? Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's like a regular dog. Hmm. And it has different, like, a stat change at but, night. And I get that, and I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think that's it. Um, the what, title of this is going to be The Secret of the Starter's Evolutions Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but this is my counterpoint. The 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 three leagues final evolutions mm-hmm. of the starters. What are those? One of the forms. It's possible. Well, you heard it here first, we figured it out. Yep. <laughs> wow. That has to be it. This that, makes perfect sense with that, the werewolf. Yeah, I mean, that's a really smart idea, and I like it a lot. Um, why just the three starters and Rockruff? Because you can't, you know, they're going way too overboard with all these different forms and all this shit. You know, you keep it with Rockruff, keep it with the starters for now. Well, probably Rockruff, because it's going to be important to the story. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I mean... I got nothing better now to predict. It just makes sense, but what could that mean? What does that mean competitively? Well, you you probably get to pick either one or the other and then keep it in that form b- before you put it in your battle box. Really? Yeah, sure. I suppose it could be. Excuse me. That's... I mean, almost guaranteed it. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't... I mean, you'd be screwed. No one would use those in competitive play if you had no control over its its form. Mm-hmm. This is very interesting. I would imagine both a type chain... Not a type change, but a... Uh, well, it could be a day-night type change. It's possible, but there's also going to be... all go there's dark. There's going to be an ability change. There's going to be... Mm, I don't know about like, ability a change. stat change. Stat? Nah. There's got to be a stat change. Well, I mean, they're going to be. You think ch- regular dog and werewolf going to have the same stats? No. No way. No, I don't. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Why wow. has no one thought of this? I don't know, dude. We're like really smart. <laughs> We're like r- so smart. Dude. No, they probably have. It's just too obvious, right? <laughs> I think this is it, and we're gonna put this up on. You're watching this now on Tuesday. If you're part of the Tuesday crew, tweet at us, uh, hashtag Tuesday crew, and we'll know you're the real fans. And and then you would you would have known first. If you watch this on Tuesday, you're the first to know. You don't even have to wait for the Coral Coral. You waited till yeah, Friday this week. You're a sucker. You're a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think there's much else to say here. I mean, we figured it out. We figured it out way we quicker know, than expected. We know what it is. This is a short episode. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah, I was I was anticipating it being a short episode. You were the one saying it was going to run long. Um, no. Of course, I was right. Uh, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's how it happened. Well, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Critical Chit. No, that's my line. Oh. Uh, By the way, I'm Josh. Uh, okay, <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching this episode of Critical Chit. Yeah. Um, uh, come back next time. Or don't. Come back next come time. Back next please, time. please come back next time. And we're going to be uh, confirming what we everything we just said on next week's episode, um, and giving ourselves a real pat on the back. I'll pat your back if you, you pat mine. Well, funny thing about my back is, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. It does itch, so okay. if you could scratch it, please. <laughs>